we are going to be cleaning up this patch today. It's been roughly, um, roughly three days exactly since I sprayed this down with the uh, Weed Warrior herbicidal soap. Everything is dying, but man, look at the dandelion flower heads that have opened up. Basically, I sprayed this thing down, and within three days, everything is dying, and the flowers are blooming at the same time. I don't know what I'm talking about here, <laughs> but I'm going to assume that as the plant is slowly dying, it is trying its hardest to, uh, to spread seed. So any energy left in this plant has to be going into that flower to open it up and seed. I don't know. It's like nature's way. So what I'm going to do here before I take the mower and the bagger over it is I'm literally going to pluck all of these uh, flower heads so that I don't drop seed on the ground. Uh, it's just a small extra little step and it's one that I'm willing to take. So I'm going to pluck those and then mow over it and try to bag as much material as I can before I start my killing efforts again. All right, that looks a lot better. You know, in terms of there just not being obvious yellow dandelions all over the ground. I'm going to take the mower over this and I'm certainly going to be missing some of them, but you know, when you pull up that many dandelion seed heads, uh, that's a good thing. Not bad. All right, as you can tell, uh, that's about as low as my lawnmower will, will go. A little teeny mower actually bagged it pretty good, I thought. Mm. After plucking all the seed heads and then cutting it all down, I can still see there's actually a lot more little dandelion seed heads close to the ground. So I'm gonna comb this area again and pull up as many of these seed heads as I can and then fluff the whole thing up with a rake. And then, mow it and bag it again. I want to get it as close to the ground, as many of those seed heads off the ground as I possibly can before I start cultivating next week. Yeah, okay. That's after a couple rounds of seed plucking, mowing, raking. Like, I think I did three rounds of it. There's a lot of dead looking stuff closer over here. I probably just did a better job spraying over here. That's when my forearm was uh, still strong. So I moved this way. I wasn't pumping as much. So I'm gonna go and grab my little weed warrior here. I'm still keeping it right here in this dumb spot, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down some more and see what kind of extra kill rate I can get over the next few days. I'm gonna have to keep monitoring for those dandelion seed heads because I don't want them to persist on the ground uh, into next week because that's when I'm gonna be seeding, seeding grass, like actual grass. That's the goal here. All right, here we are, roughly 24 hours since my second application of herbicidal soap on the area. This time, everything looks so much more dead than it did uh, a couple days back. Uh, there's still some new little dandelion flowers opening up. It's like the dandelions just trying to leave their legacy on the world as they die. They open up the flowers and try to put their seed down. So I'm gonna pluck all those things up again and uh, just let the soaps continue to kill uh, for at least another 24 hours before I start scalping the ground, probably with a weed trimmer. All right, here's my spot. I've been trying to kill off everything there for the past couple weeks. I've done a couple rounds of herbicidal soap, uh, the Weed Warrior product from Get Sunday, and then I put some, uh, and then I took a spray bottle of gly uh, glyphosate to it and uh, killed off a lot. This morning I went and hand plucked as many dandelion seed heads as I possibly could off of this area and then took my string trimmer and 
took the trimmer straight to the ground to get as much off the ground as possible. Now I got a little pile of debris there, so I'm gonna have to scoop that up. And I'll probably take the string trimmer to it again and uh, try to get some more of that debris up. I might even spray it down with a glyphosate one more time and give it another four or five days before I cultivate and seed. So this is a mild glyphosate product. It's also got a little bit of the uh, uh, the fatty acid stuff in there. This is a mild weed and grass killer. So this is why it didn't work hardcore last time. I don't want to damage other things. I just kind of want to kill off the easy stuff as much as I can without, without going crazy. So I'm going to spray this again on what is left. And then a few days later, uh, then I'm going to go and cultivate it and seed this and I'm going to overseed into the beyond area to kind of blend it into the natural hillside. All right, this is the project that just won't die. Take a look at this. What are we on? It's April 30th now. I've been attempting to kill off this patch since, what is, somewhere around the 13th of April. I started off with two rounds of Weed Warrior. It's a uh, herbicidal soap from the Get Sunday program. Uh, it's, an, it's an herbicidal soap, and it started killing off a lot, but it just wasn't strong enough to kill off all of these perennial dandelions. So then I went and I started applying a light application of uh, glyphosate. Uh, I have done two rounds of glyphosate. I've taken my weed whacker and hacked this thing down to the dirt. Uh, the last round of glyphosate was three days ago. And look at this behind my shadow here. Look at this. These things are still green. Here's one. Look at that right there. This thing is still, this is a dandelion. It's still attempting to flower. There's one that actually came up. So anyway, these things are can be hard to kill, especially if you have a ton of them. There's another one. So anyway, I'm going to continue plucking off all of these little seed heads. And I think at this point, these plants are stressed enough that even these seed heads are slowing down finally. And I, like I said in previous videos, I am not striving for per perfection. I just know that like 90% of this space was various forms of weeds with a majority of it dandelions. And I just wanted to fix it. I don't want it perfect. I want it better. So I'm losing. I'm, if I keep waiting, I'm going to run out of my window of opportunity to seed and have the grass take by summer. So I am just going to pluck off these dandelion seed heads and start the seeding process over the next couple days, uh, possibly even this afternoon. Uh, expect a video on the seeding and the growth of that seed um, in the coming weeks. But for now, I'm going to leave you with uh, mostly a clean slate here. I'm going to scuff up the area with my thatch rake uh, so that I can go ahead and seed later on. Uh, further on down the road, I certainly don't expect all of these dandelions to have died. So I am going to eventually have to put down some sort of 2,4-D or some sort of product to do a post-emergent dandelion kill later on in the year, probably, um, probably in the early fall or the, or the end of summer, uh, to give enough time for all of the new grass to grow in and get, uh, strong enough 
for me to start applying herbicides. So anyway, that's it for now. And let me get back to work today.